Christina, thank you so much for joining us in what I know is a very difficult situation. How, how are things over there in Italy right now? You know, things are, things are difficult. Things have been difficult over here in Italy. It's a really unfortunate situation. Um, I mean, as you guys all know over there as well, it's, 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 it's quite difficult as well. At the very beginning, I think it was really overwhelming. It was uh, very scary, really overwhelming for everyone. But oddly, you know, people start to get used to it and um, this becomes a new norm. So we've just kind of buckled on in and um, here we are. You know, we're just trying to follow follow the rules. Um, we're not seeing anybody. Um, I don't, we don't see anybody. We don't even see my in-laws. Um, we don't see friends. It's just strictly us in the house and, and that's it. And people do recognize you, of course, from Ala Milanese, which is on TLN. And, and they've seen you discovering the beauty of Milan. They've seen you walking the streets and learning more about Italy. What, do you, what have you learned about Milan ever since coronavirus started and, and things have just switched 180? Well, you know what? Um, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Milan has really changed from what it what it is, what it normally is. It's usually this beautiful, vibrant city, um, just full of life, um, beautiful people, passionate people. Walking out our door, we live on top of a subway. There's buses around, so there, we're in a very traffic, very very high traffic area. There's nothing. There's nobody. I mean, you can hear a bird outside. You know, I'm sure you've seen videos of Italians being out on their balconies and um, singing songs and um, clapping for for doctors. Um, but I mean, we've had that even here, just here in our building. Um, we we have a little cortile, we have an interior cortile. And so there's our building and uh, there's another building in front of ours. And there's a very few balconies, um, they're, very, they're small buildings. Um, and uh, at the beginning of all of this, uh, there was people going out onto the balconies at night playing the national anthem really loud and everybody would come out with candles, with flashlights, banging their, their, their pots and pans and, you know, to stay together. And, um, I mean, there's Italian flags hanging everywhere, everywhere, that's for sure. And um, so you do, I mean, it's a different type of unity that you feel, but you do feel it, you know, you do feel it. You feel it, you're going out to get some groceries. I mean, that's all we do. We go to get some groceries that go to the pharmacy. Um, and you do feel it. People, people are warm with each other on the street, just passing each other on the street. And um, people, people are there for each other. People are taking care of each other. So it's really nice to, to see that. Yeah, it's been beautiful just seeing all of the videos. There was an Andrea Bocelli concert, I think, that was played over a speaker. So it, it's been incredible just to see that that unity that comes forward. What's the next step? What what has been the latest news that you've heard in terms of lockdown? I think I heard that it was extended for, for more time. Yes. So as of now, I know that we're extended um, until after Easter. I don't know if it's the 15th or the 18th, but I know that we are, are going to be extended. Um, and I think everybody's okay with that. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're at this point where we want to control this as much as possible. Um, but interestingly enough, the other day, I think it was on Tuesday, that um, it was released that you were um, parents, um, one parent and uh, their children were, were able to go outside for a walk around their house. That was um, announced in the news. And that was great. And everybody was so excited. I myself was very excited. Yes, we can go outside. We can go for a walk with the kids. That would be such a wonderful thing. Um, but, you know, slowly as you digest this information, um, as the evening goes on, you realize, no, actually, we shouldn't be doing this. Why are we going to be going out? This is, this is wrong. Is it wrong? Is it not wrong? I don't know. But um, the sensation is, is that, um, you know, even when the bans do get lifted and um, life can go back to normal, so they say, I don't know um, how normal things will get, I think it's going to take time. I think it's going to really take time because even if something is going out for a walk, everybody was excited about that. And even amongst my friends, oh yeah, we can go out for walks with our kids. People are scared. People don't want to do that. Something as simple as that. So are people going to go out to restaurants? Are bars going to reopen? It's going to, it's going to, I think it's going to take some time to get back to normal. Absolutely. I think even with soccer, I mean, San Siro is this beautiful, magnificent stadium that's usually packed with thousands of people how right. comfortable are you going to be going back to a soccer game surrounded with that many people? Well, I don't know about the Italian soccer fans because they're crazy. And they'll, they'll, be they'll be there. They'll be there. 
to tell you, you know that. Um, but I, I think, yes, I think the soccer fans are just waiting to get back into the stadium and, and get back behind their teams. Um, yeah, I, just, I, I hope things will come back. I hope things will slowly come back to normal. I don't know how quickly it will happen. I don't know. It's going to be a gradual thing for people, really. Absolutely. And talk to me about what you've been doing in quarantine. I mean, you mentioned you're there with your kids. You're obviously at home a lot longer than usual. Take us yeah. through your day-to-day -day routines. Like, how do you stay sane during all of this? Doing lots of dancing and um, lots of playing and crafts and we're cooking um we're doing all kinds of things all kinds of things obstacle courses in the house down the hallways to keep them you know getting to burn some energy because they don't know where to where to store all that energy so um we're keeping busy with them but we're cooking we're cooking and uh and playing and you know what um we're enjoying it we're having fun we're having fun you know it's it's uh, it's an unfortunate time but it's also a beautiful moment to to be with your family to unite with your family and to really enjoy your kids um and enjoy each other so, so we're having fun we're having fun christina before we let you before we let you go do you have a message for all of our tln viewers i mean they see you on ala milanese they're familiar with you and and they definitely i guess want to hear a message coming from someone who's in the heart of milan right now well, you know what? I think I think the biggest thing is um, try to stay calm, stay calm, and listen listen to what is is being said. I feel like that was something that was so unfortunate here, and um, myself included. I wasn't I wasn't fully taking things seriously at the very beginning, um, and I think that's a mistake. So you know, take this seriously because the situation can really get out of hand as it has here. Um, so listen to what's going on. Be careful. Um, but then at the same time, enjoy this moment. Maybe there's, um, you know, a little hidden underlying message here to maybe to slow down, to um, enjoy some time with your family. Slow down and, and enjoy. Um, and uh, enjoy the little things. Open your eyes to the little things and the little beautiful things that are around us because um, that's definitely making us, you know, being in quarantine is definitely making us, us do that. Absolutely. Perfectly said. Well, Christina, thank you so much for, for joining us. And we obviously hope that everything will clear up very soon in Italy and, and keep enjoying, you know, the time with your family right now, because that's all we can do, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Camila. And I hope everything gets better back at home. Um, I really hope so. And hopefully we can all see each other again. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully. Well, thank you. Stay safe.